Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to run um, lines like vacuum lines or boost lines or even um, cables from the uh, engine bay into the driver's compartment on a uh, Toyota MR2 Spider. And yeah, the rubber grommet which we are going to use on the firewall um, is located on the driver's side behind the seat. So in the like under or behind the luggage uh, or luggage space behind the seat and it's, it's pretty easy to get to there uh, to get there you just need to um, unbolt the whole um, like luggage storage space thing and remove this piece because we want to um, re route the line through there later and then you can undo these top clips right here to move um, this plastic piece out of the way because we want to um, as I said run our um, vacuum line um, behind this piece later so that um, you can't see it um, when you're inside the car and the first thing you will do is or the next thing you will do is remove these three bolts they're just 10 millimeters so it's Nothing, nothing too fancy. Um, but once you got these off, you can uh, remove the whole uh, like door and get to the next um, part, which is um, removing these two bolts back there. These are the only ones uh, which are holding this piece in, and this top clip too. Um, so just undo that, you can just pull on it and it will just come right off. And then, as I said, this, these are also just 10 millimeter uh, bolts. Um, and once you remove those, um, there's one more clip which you can remove, which makes it easier to get the whole uh, piece out because you also um, need to open the other, the passenger side, uh, like storage space door. And then you can just get this whole, uh, yeah, don't know how you want to call it, but it, this whole thing out. And then you can already see back there is the wiring harness going through the firewall. And I tried running the wires through this rubber grommet, but you, I didn't I had no chance getting anything through there. So I ran it around the grommet um, like a like you can see on the video um, also through the same hole but um, yeah not through the grommet and I used like a piece of vacuum line which I sliced in the middle and put on the edge um, just that my um, vacuum line won't get damaged when the, it's, it's rattling around there and then yeah you can just run your vacuum line um, around all the plastic pieces and up to the front um, or I dropped it from down from the top it's easier like or if you would try to put it upwards from the bottom but yeah just run it through there and I wanted to show you from the back I put the battery in was a bad uh, stupid idea to do that before filming this part but you can see back there can see the vacuum line coming out and then running up to the intake manifold um, yeah so it's really easy process but uh, I did, uh, did the mistake uh, of trying to um, yeah getting the the vacuum line through the rubber grommet it was the biggest mistake I did because there was no chance getting anything through there it was just too tight but yeah you can see there's just these the lines are just visible um, from the top there um, but you can also put like electrical tape or any fancy uh, stuff you can find um, around there to cover it up and yeah then you have it thanks for watching and I hope this was any useful and I will see you in the next video bye